In this video, we're going to be looking at the brand new uh, Guideline Geo WalkTem 2, uh, which is a time domain system uh, from the Swedish manufacturer Abim. So uh, we've got a few different components uh, that we're going to go through. Uh, we've got the transmitter, receiver, actually two transmitter options uh, and a few different uh, receiver options. So I'm going to go through the individual components, uh, what you get in the box and uh, then uh, we'll get into the details. So uh, the first thing we got here is the WalkTem 2 uh, receiver. It comes in a very nice form factor here. Uh, this is the receiver part. Um, it actually now ships with uh, lithium batteries uh, as opposed to previous models which were shipping with uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. So these are quite nice. So we're going to put those in and fire up the instrument in a bit. These are pretty cool because they've got their own little uh, battery indicator uh, in here so you can always see uh, even if the in it's not in the instrument what your charge is. So um, what else have we got in the box here? Um, a few different cables here. Is a fiber cable for referencing we've got a power supply for charging a few different international power options here there's a foldable keyboard and mouse if you want to get uh, a bit beyond what the, the keypad on the instrument here is is uh, capable of Ethernet for dumping data and updating. Here's your reference cable between your transmitter uh, and the receiver. And then you got external 12 or 24 volt uh, input from like a, a lead acid battery bank. And oh, there's a little compass as well. I guess this is for getting your heading for your uh, center of your receiver. So when you put out your your transmitter and receiver, uh, your instrument would normally be sitting in the corner of your loop. And what you want to use your heading for is uh, reference your heading into the center of your transmitter loop. Because uh, we have a built-in GPS here, which will give you a receiver position, but that might not necessarily be the center of your transmitter loop. So this is a parameter you can put into your instrument uh, and it'll help you in your positioning when you get to your uh, post-processing. So uh, let's have a look at um, this here. I'll just open up the battery component here. These two slide in here. These are marked one and two. It's a very nice fit there. Let me put this back on. Oops. And uh, this should be ready to fire up now. That's very nice. Um, we're going to look at uh, some of the uh, transmitter uh, and receiver calls that we have available for this. So I'm going to just uh, clear this off the bench and we'll uh, get to the next component. Uh, in the following video, uh, we might look closer at the interface of what this instrument uh, looks like um, in the software. But it's very similar to the WalkTem 1 and uh, same form factor as the resistivity unit that Apen also makes called the, the Terrameter uh, LS. Um, similar button layout, similar high visibility uh, screen and direct uh, sunlight and uh, all the uh, connectors and everything here is, is good high quality mil spec battery input that we saw before and these are our big power inputs 
and then you have your uh, two channels uh, channel A and channel B so you can have two receivers uh, connected uh, simultaneously so anyway I will um, put this aside for a bit and then uh, we'll go on and look at the transmitters So the first transmitter option we will look at is the standard unit. Uh, this is a 8 amp transmitter. So it's half the form factor of what you what you have um, for the full size uh, instruments, but still very nice enclosure, nice rubber bumpers. Uh, again, mil spec connectors for everything. Uh, you got communication for your referencing between your transmitter and receiver via this cable here. And here's your output for your uh, transmitter loop. So very simple little unit. There's not uh, uh, much more to say here. In this box as well, we've got some cabling for your external output. Uh, here's a cable for attaching your transmitter uh, loop and if you wanted to use a oh this is really stuck in here if you wanted to use a basic transmitter wire this normal cabling here is uh, absolutely fine for that I think this is the 40 by 40 meter transmitter so um, these are just extra cables and more extra cables. So that's the standard 8 amp transmitter uh, from Walktem. Walktem 2. So let's go up and look at the 60 amp. Ooh, 60 amp gets a bit heavier. <laughs> and everything gets bigger, requires more cooling um, and more care about your layout. So this here is the Walktem 2 uh, 60 amp transmitter. Uh, you have your emergency stop, loop connections here, and then you got a high voltage and low voltage DC uh, connection points for your power and then on the other side here we have our connection for our reference cable between the transmitter and the receiver uh, this is similar quality as we are used to from other APM instruments really really well really solid solid built um, you can see that there's more emphasis on on cooling here so this big cooling grill here and and uh, you can see there's lots of uh, intakes here and a whole bank of fans up here so this thing should get pretty hot once you are cranking out the, your 60 amps um, this does have an internal battery you can probably hear the fans there's a really good push of air through through this unit here so cooling is really something that's been uh, looked after um, there's also uh, internal uh, resistors here uh, which you can switch automatically which is pretty cool so via the software on the receiver side you can um, switch between different resistors according to your soil uh, type uh, these are dampening resistors to, uh, to uh, help you with your transmit waveform um, yeah so really 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 nice this should do well in, in hot environments. Um, there's also the, the built-in uh, turbo calculator which sits right next to those um, uh, damping resistors. So we'll turn this one off again. Then in here, again, we just have standard, standard power cables for your uh, transmitter loop and also here uh, for connecting your 
loops standard international power cables not too much uh, interesting stuff there you also get a uh, warranty registration form uh, you got two years warranty with these which is uh, pretty good okay so that's the TX60 we'll move on and have a look at the receiver options so um, to receive a time domain signal we need to have some kind of loop or coil and uh, Abram has made several different options for that uh, there's the traditional uh, coil type here with a preamp this is a five uh, square meter uh, receiver so there's a preamp in here it's got a, a, a standard length cable which suits a 40 by 40 meter loop and this setup we have here comes with two extensions so you could do much bigger loops but uh, um, it's all powered the preamp is all powered via the receiving instrument so you don't need to worry about batteries or anything like that so that's a five square meter uh, receiver um, there's also a 200 square meter receiver so this is um, a coil type thing um, so basically a standard loop that's set out again the preamp sits in here it's powered from the uh, receiver so um, yeah just different environments uh, and different uh, receiver requirements so you can see this pretty versatile systems um, the new one uh, walk term is also upgradable in the field so if you start out with a basic walk term 2 unit it is possible to uh, remotely enable options um, so you don't ever have to send an instrument back to a manufacturer for, for an upgrade to a more advanced features or a higher output transmitter or anything like that. Everything in terms of hardware is in the box and it can be uh, remotely upgraded just for, via a firmware purchase. Uh, that kind of is a, a lead on from the resistivity meter, the terameter LS2, which years ago implemented similar features where you could add additional channels in the field so you could buy a two channel systems uh, system and if you years later wanted to upgrade it to a uh, 12 channel system you just buy the code and input it and you would enable the, the, the channel so all the hardware is in place to have the highest level system and just enable with the with software which is really versatile and, and quite cool uh, feature so yeah that's the general components in the walk term 2 um, Check back for more videos, uh, contact us if you have any questions and uh, good luck out in the field.